Welcome, White House mates. Welcome, Shauna. We have our Democratic and our Republican nominee. For the independents, it's down to Shauna and April. How will we make this determination? Mr. Cheesy Game Show host announcer voice? Well, moderator, we're going to play Are You Smarter Than an Intern? <laughs> First up, we have Candy. Candy is a fourth year political science major at the University of Miami, where she spends her summers flight riding on the beach. Next, we have Sandy. She is a fifth year international relations major at San Diego State University and spent last summer interning at the White House. Okay, White House mates, interns, Carolyn and George will ask each pair three questions. Now, candidates, if you feel that you know the answer to the question, you will say candidates. Interns, if you feel that you know the answer to the questions, you will say interns. After one round, if there is a tie, we will go into a sudden death bonus round. George? Okay. Uh, April and Candy, you will go first. Uh, if someone were to assassinate both George Bush and Dick Cheney, would we have our first woman president? Intern. Candy, yes. Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House and second in line for the presidency after Cheney. Correct. Uh, the two warring Muslim factions in Iraq are the Sumis and... Candidate. April. Ah, uh, Sheets. No. Candy. Sheets. Correct. Too much time rolling around with the Sheets, April? To what family does the wombat belong? To the mammal family? The marsupial family? Candidate. April. Ah, uh, the Clinton family. Correct. Arthur and Millie Clinton in Platitude, Wyoming, just adopted a baby wombat named Chelsea. Aww. Look at that. Okay, April, you got one right. Wow. Shauna, you need two to become your party's nominee. Carolyn? If you lose Nevada, which is a caucus state, how many delegates do you get? Shauna. Sandy. Same number as the winner? I said my name first. You said your name, not candidate. If you're polling at 49% among black middle income women who shave regularly, but only 13% among white, balding Baptist males who drive an SUV, but you have an endorsement from the Indian Union of 7-Eleven workers, how does this convert in the under 30 category to the number of delegates you will be awarded for carrying a mostly Latino dog-owning district after you have brought your primary forward and been penalized by your national party? Candidate John, say what? Correct! If you take a Baptist preacher and add him to a closet liberal masquerading as a conservative and subtract a TV district attorney, a business savvy Mormon, and a former mayor, then multiply your answer by a son of a mill worker, a son of an immigrant, and a son of a bitch. What do you have? Candidate. Shauna. The longest primary season in history. And. Fatigue. And. Jet lag. And. Rating. Congratulations. Shauna, you can join Clint and Edward as your party's nominee. Can, can I just point out that independent is not a party? There is an independent party. But I'm independent of the independent party. Oh, whatever. We're not going to vote for you anyway. <laughs> America, I am proud to introduce you to your presidential candidates. Actually, something very disturbing has been brought to my attention. And our producer. Hmm. Clint, I'm afraid I have some very disturbing pictures of you and our moderator. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Pictures don't lie. I'm afraid that disqualifies you. She started it. Yeah, but she's hot. And Everyone would want to look at her. I have a life-size pinup in my bedroom. They sell those? And my very own inflatable moderator. Me too. <sighs> that means, Amelia, as the runner-up for the Democratic Party, now the Democratic nominee. Ass ah, shit balls! Ass ah, shit balls! Ass ah, shit balls! Clint, you've been impeached. Any last words? I would wish you all good luck. But what I really mean by that is suck my caucus! <laughs> I already did. That's why he got disqualified. <laughs> Join us next week as Edward, Shauna, and Amelia hit the campaign trail. For Elect Me 08, I'm your moderator. Madam Secretary of State. She's to the White House and beyond. First female president, first cat. <laughs>